Morgan, obviously, had been an exciting game. Um, just take us through that moment, that finish that you had there at the end, and then the, the celebration after. Well, I was just really excited, <laughs> to be honest. Um, I think, you know, this team, we're always fighting, and we want to always win, obviously. But I think there was just something when we when I went on, I was just like, I'm not losing this game. I'm not tying. We need a win. And I think it just helps us for the next game against Seattle. So I think also, you know, we've been knocking on the door all night. I know we always say that. I mean, we have 20-something shots almost every game. But tonight, I felt like we were more on frame than other games as well. So I think that was something really good. And it seemed like throughout the night, Olivia Moultrie was a big factor all over the field. What can you say about her performance? Yeah, I mean, I think Liv's been performing really, really well. I mean, I saw it during the off season when her and I were training together. So it's just really cool to see her put it out on the field now. And two goal contributions for Izzy tonight. Um, big moment for her in her career as a professional. Um, how, how did you think she did? Yeah, I thought Izzy played really well. She came in looked like a veteran she didn't look like a rookie so I think that's something really cool and I think you know she's going to continue to grow and I think that's the biggest thing for her right now is just to continue growing the the celebration dances do you know just coming into the night which one you're maybe going to do if you score I mean, well is it, is it? honestly I think Sinky and I just looked at each other and we just like put our legs in the air like we were like this I don't know <laughs> but I think we were just messing around <laughs> usually I have something planned with Kelly oh, but okay. Kelly wasn't on the field so <laughs> Any other questions in the room for Weaver? Uh, there seems to be a, a culture on this team of intensity and like intense fun. <laughs> um, and I'm just wondering if you can sort of talk about how that balance plays out within the team. Is it that something that you talk about? It seems like you go just as hard as you you play. Um, and I'm, I'm curious what that feels like and how you sort of cultivated that. Yeah, I think something at the beginning of the season is we always want to play with joy. And I think Kling has really put it on all of us to always have fun, to smile. And I think I've always played like that since I was a kid. You'd see me running down the field with the biggest smile on my face. Mom was like, why do you smile so much? I was like, I don't know, I don't mean to, I just do. Because I'm, like, I'm playing the game I love, so I have fun doing it. And I think that's something all of us are trying to embrace more is having fun. If you're, having, if you're not having fun, then why play? It's the best part of the game. And you can see it all on us. After a game, you see all of us smiling. Even if we lose, I mean, we're all hurting, but we find the joy of each other. And then we help each other, and we bring it back for the next game. Thanks. Do we have any? Oh, we'll go to Paul. I came in a bit late, but talk about your, your goal. And did, did you, were you challenging Bella on the back heel, sort of play against that team? <laughs> I didn't think of that. Yeah. Now me and Bella have a challenge. Who's gonna score the next one? <laughs> um, now I, you know, I was just trying to get my foot on it. I was didn't know if anyone was behind me, and I didn't want it to go to their goalkeeper. So I just last second put my leg in there. there. But you know, something funny as I was saying earlier was thank goodness for Hina because she does these hip mobility, and I always watch her, and I'm like, gosh, I need to start doing that. I've been doing it a lot more, and I'm like, shout out Hina. <laughs> On that note, I don't think we have any questions. Boarding in progress. Mike, why don't you just go ahead and give us your thoughts on the match tonight? Um, where do we start? Yeah, so really high quality chances again. We've got to be more clinical. I mean, listen, the keeper's made a couple of really good saves. Um, got to manage transition better as well. We just lost the rhythm. We lost momentum they took momentum from her in the beginning of the second half but again what can I say the character of the group to to push and get another winner late uh, speaks volumes for the the mentality of the group I think I mean to do it once in a season but to continue to do it but we've got to stop putting ourselves in a position where we're relying on doing that uh, but yeah like happy happy with the result to come out with three points and that gets we right back in the fight for the the group stage of that Challenge Cup and uh, continues momentum. But yeah, I think overall, happy. All right, we'll start with questions here. Hi, Mike. Um, obviously, a, a strong performance from Izzy Dequilla in, in her first start, uh, two goal contributions. Um, what can you say about how she's developing as a rookie? Yeah, um, I mean, listen, she's been asked, she's played two roles tonight. She's played the nine role, she's played the seven. 
Uh, we've utilised her in those two roles during her time here. Um, I think she's showed tonight a driving instinct to get across the front of the defenders in the box. Um, give a little bit of a different dynamic in terms of how we could attack as well, I felt, with some of the crosses. Yeah, she's she's driven. I've said this before. She, she just, she's a scrapper, she's a fighter, and she puts herself in areas where she's done well tonight. And, you know, that finish from Morgan at the end, uh, pretty good substitution by the coach, would you say? Uh, I would say a collective staff <laughs> substitution, but listen, I think when you look at the in the impact she had and the output she put in there for 25 minutes, like outstanding, like just top and you couldn't ask for more and any of the players coming off the bench and I think when you look at the roster we have to have the ability for what we used to be coming off and producing that for 25 minutes and huge impact and then she was joking at the end, she's been doing Hina's hip mobility classes to, to get that flick, but yeah, huge impact she had. And obviously a big one on Saturday, rivals OL Reign. Um, both teams going to be up for, for that one. Um, what are you expecting from, from that matchup? One hell of a game, I would say. Um, yeah, listen, like we played them preseason. It's not a preseason game. There'll be a lot on the line in terms of pride. Um, I would anticipate a high intensity game, pretty physical. Um, hopefully we can create the chances that we, we feel that we can, but yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, it is another game. It's another game on the road in terms of how we keep progressing and pushing for the title. But yeah, it'll be uh, probably another fun game for the fans, I'm guessing, in the, in the neutrals watching. Hey, Mike, can you talk to us about just how the, the resilience of the team, uh, especially back-to-back -back games where it's late goals, uh, just the fight that they continue to have? Yeah, and I think... I mean, I said it earlier, it's just not the last two games. We, we've shown that, I'd say, collectively. I, I'd say it's a physical and a mental piece. Um, so there's the resilience and the relentlessness to keep going. There's belief with that. There's confidence. Um, but, yeah, I think it takes the mental resolve to do that. But I, I do also think there's a, a second gear in terms of physicality with it. Obviously, we brought some fresh legs on, which had an impact. We've had some people who were pushed through 90 minutes there and produced a really good 90 minute performance. So yeah, I mean, this group said it beginning of the preseason, like we've gone through a lot. Uh, maybe that collectiveness also adds to the on-field element of it. Mike, from your perspective, what happened in that stretch where they got the two goals? Seemed like the game got stretched a bit. Um, yeah, what what caused it to get stretched in that? portion of the game you answered your own question there Paul uh, no listen I think yeah the game got stretched so we didn't get one momentum game I wouldn't say it got stretched at the beginning of the second half we probably just got a little bit back footed we gave them too much time off the front um, allowed them to turn and then we just didn't manage I say we didn't collectively I just don't think we managed transition well enough in a sense of some high quality opportunities in the around the box then it did get stretched from front to back. There was a big gap in between. And then they've got threats where they can turn, they can get in behind you. Um, and we, yeah, we just lost a little bit of the intensity, I feel, um, winning second balls as well that we were winning first half. We just weren't quite close enough collectively. But then I do think we just weren't clean enough on the ball as well. So when we won it, we were just, we probably didn't have enough sustained possessions the ball and we just got a bit loose in terms of connecting one or two passes once we did win it and then the game just became unstructured if you like and it was it was like basketball to be honest and just talk in general the value of this tournament and getting players like Taylor Porter and so many others who don't always get consistent minutes how how important is this tournament for those players I think it's really important for everybody um not just the, the players that haven't had a lot of minutes and those that have been putting the work in on the training ground and pushing for the minutes and arguably deserve it. I think it's just really important as a group. I think when you talk about momentum, um, it's another game where, particularly if it's a positive result, you take that momentum, especially in the three-game week. So, I mean, there's fatigue that comes with it, but yeah, I think the momentum part's a huge piece as well. But yeah, it's, just, it's an important tournament. It's an important competition. This group is winners. They'll want to win every game that's in front of them. 
So, yeah, it, I think that's just a collective 26, 27 players and the staff. That's how we approach it, that we do want to win each game that's in front of them. Put out a lineup which we felt was good enough to win it. And I mean, we can sit here and say it was good enough because it was in the end. But yeah, those players have done well as well tonight. And some of them haven't played in a long time. So credit to them. All right, we've got a question online from Leo. Hi, uh, congrats on the win. Uh, we talked a little bit about Murph this season and how she's looked kind of like a just different player this year compared to last year. And I guess I was wondering if you could speak to a little bit of her performance tonight. Yeah, she was class. 60, 60 65 minutes. Um, it's her first start coming back from injury. Did well to get through it, but yes, I think she showed her versatility and pace to get in behind. Um, she showed how clean she was on the ball off the front in Lincoln. Um, yeah, and I just, I mean, part of the strategy, I think the first goal, if we think about how we thought we could get chances, that was probably a picture book of what we had anticipated. Murph's executed her role in terms of getting in behind, but yeah, I thought she was good on the ball side. I thought she was good on the opposite side. And she's done well to get through 60 minutes after not playing any substantial minutes, really, in a while. All right. I think, do we have any last? All right, we're joined by Izzy DeQuilla. We'll start with Ryan in the front. Izzy, obviously a, a really exciting game. Great finish, obviously, by Morgan at the end. Um, but for you, you know, two goal contributions, your first two as a professional, um, what can you say about, about that? You know, it's it's really exciting. I'm really glad that I could get out there and contribute to, to this game. I think that it was really a team effort, though. We had to defend in all aspects, and even in the attack, we we knew on the Murph's goal that the backspace was going to be super open, and that was one of our game plans. And we saw, I saw her run in, so I just put her in, and I knew she was going to get onto it. Obviously, it was close to potentially being Moultrie who got the goal yeah. um, on, the, on the assist there. Did, did you guys talk about that at all, joke, maybe? I mean, it was, it was asked, but, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know what to say to that. I feel that I put my foot on it, but if, she, if it was close, then maybe it was close. I don't <laughs> sure. know, yeah. Uh, it's yours. But <laughs> um, your, your thoughts just on, on the team being able to bounce back and get the, the winner after obviously giving up two emotional goals, including the, the penalty. Yeah, this this team is resilient. We've we've shown that game in and game out. We've we've had a lot of late wins and late ties, and I think that we put maybe don't always put together full ninety minute games, which is what we're really working on. But we pull it out at the end, and everyone uh, works till the very last minute. And as you've seen, even our our players who subbed in uh, made a huge impact with Weaver coming in and putting the ball in the back of the net. Questions in the room, Paul. Is he just curious about how comfortable you are in your role and in this team? What five months in, and what does a game like this do to help you in that process? Yeah, so this this was my first start. I've I've come in as a sub in in every game, and I've I've tried to own that role as much as I can, making an impact when I can get on the field. Um, but being able to start and, and get some heavy minutes really allowed me, I think, to, to gain some confidence out there on the field and make some new relationships with, with players out on the field. Um, and to get a goal and an assist under my belt um, only feels better, and it's icing on the cake right there, yeah. Any other questions in the room? I think we're good. Do we have any hands online? It looks like we do have one hand online. We'll go to Leo online. Hi, Izzy. Congrats on the goal. Um, I guess, obviously, you started as a center forward tonight, and you've played both there and kind of out wide for the Thorns um, this season. And I guess I'm curious kind of how you feel about jumping between those two positions and how you think they complement each other and kind of, yeah, how, how you feel playing those two different roles for the team. Yeah. Um, honestly, I'm... I'm comfortable with either position, wherever I can kind of help the team and get on the field when, I, when I'm needed. I obviously I played the nine through my college career, so I'm, I'm very comfortable in that position, and I, and I like that position. But I've started to get a lot of minutes at the outside forward, and I think that 
my uh, runs across the box and being able to get in the box on the outside forward position um, does complement me. Um, and I think it's just continuing to work and grow at that position and figuring out um, as I get some more minutes on the field uh, what I need to improve on and where I can help the team. Leo, do you have a follow-up at all? Are you good? I am good. Thank you. All right. We will wrap there. Izzy, thank you. Uh, thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you.